Hi, it's Jim from Colton RV, and we're here today. We're going to show you how to winterize a travel trailer. The first step in winterizing your travel trailer is to empty your freshwater tank. This particular model, the freshwater tank is up underneath, and there is a drain that's in between the wheels. And Grand Design made it, they put an extension handle on it. So all you have to do is go under, and you go underneath, you grab this handle and pull it and you'll see the water flowing from underneath. Once that water stops, the tank's empty. Okay, now once the water stops, you're gonna go around the other side. This particular model has low point drains that are back underneath here with valves on them. So you're gonna open up these two valves on the low point drains, and then you're gonna go inside, and you're gonna open the faucets to allow water to come in the top, so it'll let the water out the bottom on the low point drain. Okay, so when you're opening the faucets to let air in the top, you'll actually hear it. So you open the faucets, you'll hear the air rushing in as the water's going out the bottom. Once that air noise stops, Close the valves, move on to the next faucet. We'll move along, do both sides, cold and hot. Your shower. Okay, now once all that water has gone out, you're going to go back outside, close the low point drains. Okay, at this point, we're just going to close both of our drains, and then we're going to go back out. We're going to drain our hot water tank. Now in the hot water tank, you always want to make sure that you trip the pressure and temperature valve so that it relieves the pressure from it. And then you're going to remove the drain plug. And you have one big thing is always stand to the side of it because there will be water coming out of it. All right, now that the hot water tank's drained, we're going to go back inside and flip all the valves to bypass the hot water tank. And when it comes to hot water tank bypasses, there's three, four different models. One's a single valve, one's a double valve with a check valve, one's three valves, and one's a remote single valve. This particular unit is using a three valve unit that's on the back of the hot water tank. Okay, at this point, you're gonna use the three valves and just start at the bottom, turn the valve. Across the tube is off. This one needs to be on so that the water can flow through it. And then this one, you're gonna turn off so it's across the tube, stopping the flow of water. Now, when you pump antifreeze through here, it goes up through this small line in the middle between the two and bypasses the hot water tank. At this point, you're going to take and introduce antifreeze into the system. The best way to do it is using the water pump. This particular one's underneath the stove, but it's a fun game of hide and seek. You never know on your particular unit where the pump's going to be mounted. So the easiest way to find it is to turn it on and just start looking for it, listening for it. This particular unit they've given you a winterized port to where all you have to do is turn this valve towards the pickup line. You'll take this pickup line and put it in a gallon of antifreeze. Turn the pump on and run it through the faucets. Okay, so what you can do now, you're probably going to need two to three gallons of antifreeze in order to do a winterize on a unit of this size. You can either stick the hose directly into the, the bottle you can get a five gallon pail, put your three gallons in it, stick this in the t pail, 
or like we do is a five gallon pail with a hose hooked up to it and we just hook it up and flow antifreeze. Okay so this particular unit the water pump switch is here you're just going to turn it on you'll hear the pump stop once it builds pressure and then we'll go through and we'll just start opening faucets until you see pink come out of the faucets. Okay, so what we're going to do is start at the half bath on this unit. I'm just going to open the faucet until we see pink. Open the hot side. And then run a little extra so that it'll fill the trap. Toilet. Run the toilet till you see pink. And then move on to the next faucet. Go here to the kitchen. You have pink. You have pink on the cold side. A little extra to fill the trap in the drain. Hot side. Cold side, a little extra for the drain. Toilet till it's pink. Shower is a little bit more hard to see, but you'll see it in the pan is pink. And on the other side, you'll see it clear out in the pan, and then it'll come back to pink. A little extra just to put in the drain line. And now we'll go outside and do any outside appliances. Some models will have a kitchen on the outside with a, with a sink in it. This particular model does not. It does not have an outside shower. Some models do. This one has an outside spray port that you have to make sure we go get. So you're just going to run it till you see pink. And unhook your hose. At this point, your antifreeze is all through all, all the lines and your winterize is complete. The only thing left to do is drain the tanks.